Right, what is going on guys? I'm sorry for this video, we do not have Lewis as a host to join us, but in the next video I promise he'll be there, we've got some pretty good surprises to show you. So, today we're going to show you our audio gear for the Extreme Sounds Audio and Vision. There are mainly four different items to record our audio. There is the onboard microphone on the Nikon D3100. We can use that a whole lot mainly for syncing and kind of, if we don't need that much audio we'll use the onboard microphone. It's not too bad actually. Right now we are listening to this awesome little microphone here. It is um, kind of like an unbranded eBay microphone. Um, I was aware that it wouldn't be that amazing when I bought it, but I'm actually quite surprised. Stereo configuration, and this is what we use to record all the audio onto. It has a headphone and a microphone port and all the controls. It's quite a handy little recorder. So, the next one I use most often is this lavalier microphone. Um, it came with the kit. It's, you can pick these up really easily off eBay, and they're not too shabby actually, even if you get a yeah, a cheap one. So I normally clip my one upside down and we'll just plug it in so you can listen to this. And surprisingly clear, um, if you're going to hear any kind of crackling or kind of broken up sound, it is from the recorder, I'm sorry for that. Um, but I have tested this with different, like the um, Zoom H4n and my laptop and the actual microphone is fine. Now the next one we use is actually my newly custom made one. It's just um, a simple unbranded microphone but with the Extreme Sounds Audio and Vision banner on it. That's pretty cool. So I actually quite like the sound of this little audio recorder, it doesn't do too bad a job and the fact that you can uh, input microphones and monitor them with this headphone port. The output to headphones is actually quite powerful, I've used it with my Bose um, IE2 headphone Audio Technica M50s, I've tried in the Sennheiser's, as they sound really clean. But I reckon if you're going to get a microphone for YouTube, get one of these lavalier microphones, they're so versatile. Like I mean you, you look like a bit of a prat kind of going around with one of these, but this is very discreet and sounds a hell of a lot better than the inbuilt microphone on the camera. So, if I just get on the shot. So for me, Jason, and unfortunately Lewis isn't here, but for me, see ya. 